afternoon, everybody, and rise up and welcome to our healthy skincare challenge. So this is totally a bonus video because as I was getting ready to prep my own lunches today, I thought, shoot, there's so much in here that I could talk about for our healthy skincare challenge. So what I'm going to make today and prep for my lunches throughout the week is a marinated veggie salad with a little bit of a Greek twist. So if you are checking your email, which I hope you are because you were sent email number one of the challenge this morning, if for some reason you didn't see it, make sure you check your promotions folder or even your spam folder because a lot of times they get filtered out there. So in your email this morning, you had a video from me and I talked about some of the major trigger foods for skin inflammation. And I also talked about what I'm calling blue ribbon foods for skin health. And this recipe that I was throwing together for myself today actually has a few of those blue ribbon foods that I spoke about in the video that you got this morning in your email. So I thought, shoot, Let's go ahead and invite you all into my kitchen so that I can share with you exactly how I make this salad. So first of all, I use just a ton of vegetables. Um, today I have, and for the purpose of our skincare challenge, a lot of broccoli. So if you, um, if you watched the video this morning that you got, one of the best foods for skin health are cruciferous vegetables. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, collards, kale, Brussels sprouts, they are so good for skin health. And a lot of people aren't eating enough of those. And this salad, actually the base of it is broccoli. Um, now, one thing I do um, caution on if you're eating a lot of raw cruciferous, consider steaming them. So I lightly steam my broccoli um, for this salad particularly, just a little bit, like four to five minutes. It's still crisp and hard to the bite, to the, so there's a crunch to it. But by steaming it, I am removing the goitrogenic properties. So if you are concerned at all about thyroid health, a goitrogen, a goitrogen from a food can go in, inhabit that space in your thyroid and kind of take up that space and other things um, won't be able to get in. Like the other proper nutrients and vitamins and nourishing um, minerals that are needed for really healthy thyroid support. So that's why I steam them. And it's not very long. It's like I said, four to five minutes, I'm steaming them so that they still have that really nice crunch. But cruciferous vegetables are one of the foods, one of our blue ribbon foods for skin health. I also have green beans from my mom's garden. I have cucumber that I sliced up, nice bite-sized pieces. I picked up a red pepper at the, at the yeah, I picked up a red pepper at the refrigerator this morning. Um, refrigerator is on my mind because mine completely died. Thank God I have my old refrigerator in the basement so that I can actually <laughs> still function. Um, but I picked up some red peppers at the store. I have red onion, which I uh, sliced very thinly. I don't like a huge bite of red onion. Um, I've got some mushrooms I'm going to slice up, some carrots, and then in this jar, I have like this little Greek combination. So I have garbanzo beans, olives. So if you watch the video, you know that olives are one of my very favorite um, health promoting fruits, especially for the skin, um, because they have all those great fats in them and we need to eat more of those just like we need to eat more avocados. So this recipe also has black olives in it. And I have some halved um, cherry tomatoes. And then I'm also going to put some dolmas on top. So these are grape leaves and they have the brown rice inside with some other spices. So to get started, I'm actually going to make the marinade that goes on top. And a, this marinade can be used as a salad dressing and it's so, so, so simple. You need a acid, you need a base, you need a little bit of seasoning some salt, a little bit of seasoning. So I take a mason jar. 
Okay. Open up my apple cider vinegar here and I'm gonna put in about a quarter cup. And I eyeball like everything and you can too. <laughs> and then I'm going to put in um, a few tablespoons of a really high quality olive oil. That's two, three tablespoons. And then I'm going to put in um, half teaspoon of salt, maybe a little more. I don't really worry about um, going, I don't really worry about the sodium too much, pretty much because I don't buy packaged foods and you're gonna get a lot of your sodium content from packaged foods. So if you're like me and, you have, and you're eating a diet full of whole foods, you don't have to be concerned about the sodium or the salt you're adding to your food. That would just be um, if you're eating a lot of packaged foods, restaurant foods, um, those places are going to include a lot of salt and then you do have to be mindful when you're at home. But people always tease me because they're always surprised that I salt my food. Well, I like it to taste good, so I don't have to worry about it as much because I'm not having a lot of packaged foods. And I'm actually gonna throw in some cayenne pepper. So like a half teaspoon. Okay, now I should have gotten a separate lid. I'm gonna use my salt lid for this. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a really good shake. So it was four ingredients, right? We have apple cider vinegar, we have olive oil, salt, and some cayenne pepper, and there you go. It's an awesome um, salad dressing or a marinade. Like you can marinade veg uh, vegetables in this, and you can marinade chicken in this, anything. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, so on to creating our salad. I'm just gonna set this off to the side. I have a glass full, so maybe you guys can watch me. Facebook Live, I can't even really tell what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to add the broccoli in first because the broccoli really is the base of this. And like I was saying in the video for the skincare challenge, these cruciferous vegetables are unsung, unsung heroes. They need to be incorporated more into our diet and this is one really fun way to do it and it's really tasty. So I'm going to put in you know, this is like a cup to a cup and a half. Just kind of make sure I've got bite-sized pieces of my broccoli florets. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my cucumbers. I'm gonna have to give my beans a quick chop. So in the video, I also talked about the importance of getting in about three cups of vegetables a day. And this can help you do that because if I'm sitting down and I'm having this for lunch, I'm gonna have probably a good cup and a half. So that's half of my vegetable intake for the entire day. Okay, I'm gonna give my beans a quick chop. These are fresh from my mom's garden. They are crispy. All right, these will go in. What are you noticing so far? Lots of green without using leafy green. So this is a different way to um, set up your salad. Okay, now I'm gonna take my red bell peppers, give those a quick chop. I like salads that are, they have all, um, all the vegetables are similar size, bite-sized pieces. I mean, just the smell of this alone will make you want to eat it. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing to my red onion. I had already thinly sliced this, but I take this and do a rough chop as well. Kind of spread that throughout, but only about half. I'm going to save the other half for the top. Give that a good mix. Throw in some carrots. Now I already have these pre-matchsticked. I don't know what the, they're already in matchsticks, which makes it really nice. I'm 
Love these. Throw in a little bit more. Now, little trick. I'm going to pour in a little drizzle of my marinade. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour on the top, the rest. Okay, little drizzle. Whoops. Need a spoon. Give this a this smells so good and it's so simple. It's literally vegetables and some apple cider vinegar, oil, salt, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Guys, you cannot go wrong with this. This is also awesome to take to, you know, if you're invited to barbecues, um, you know, parties over the summer. It's a great summer dish. So think ahead to your um, Labor Day barbecue. You can take this or have this at your house or whatever. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the tomatoes, the black olives, and the gar garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans. Now, if you don't have garbanzo beans, I also love using um, lentils. Awesome way to get extra protein and fiber in here. I love the lentils. I also was debating, because I have leftover grilled chicken in the refrigerator, you can chop that up and throw that in in place of the um, garbanzo beans as well. Okay, now I'm going to throw in my mushrooms, which I'm just gonna give a quick slice. I love mushrooms in a salad like this. I go to Whole Foods and they have um, that big salad bar and I'm loading the entire thing up with mushrooms. I love them. It's another food I don't think we're getting enough of, but you don't need much. Even if you just ate one of these a day, the cancer fighting properties in a mushroom is out of this world. Okay, so here we go. And I'm almost done. How long has this taken me? How long have I been on? I can't even tell, but it's like maybe 10 minutes and I'm talking. So, <laughs> almost done. And then I'm going to throw the... rest of my red onions on top. I'm looking around. Did I forget anything? Add the rest of the marinade, or part of it, kind of depends. I didn't need all of that. Okay, so I have like a tablespoon left. Now, my dolmas, um, I'm not going to put in the salad. What I'm going to do is plate mine, which I'll do. Since I haven't eaten lunch yet, this is my lunch, I'm going to plate mine and then I put the dolmas in. Guys, I have to give you, I have to get you like a close up of this salad. It is so good and so simple. So I take my dolmas and I get these at Trader Joe's and what I do is I put about two in cut them in half, turn them on its side, and there you go. Voila, marinated veggie salad with a Greek twist. Looks delicious, doesn't it? So the rest of this becomes food prep, which is awesome. So I just made my lunch for the entire week. Now I have my glass containers that I don't have one easy to grab, but they're just standard glass containers. And I will divvy this up. I will divvy the dolmas up. And um, that's lunch. So again, make sure you are checking your email every day of the five days that we are having our healthy skincare challenge. I gave you a video that talks about the top trigger foods for skin inflammation that you want to stay away from, and also my blue ribbon foods that you want more of in your diet for healthy, glowing skin. This recipe in particular, with the broccoli, with the olives, you could even slice an avocado on top of this and have a lot of those blue ribbon foods in one meal, which is really exciting. It's a great way to get it in. So I hope that was fun for you. I hope it was helpful. And I hope it gave you an idea for how simple food prepping can be if we want to maintain healthy and nourished skin. So I'm signing off. I will see you guys soon.